Dear friends, welcome to my video. In this quick video, we'll see how to create an assets directory or folder in your Android app. So let's begin. I'll create a new project. So and I'll name it as access directory app. Click finish. Wait for my environment to load. So then my environment has come up. But the focus over here is not on the app development or anything of that kind as such. But we'll just see how to create an assets uh, uh, folder in my uh, in my resource folder. And uh, so this kind of folder may be required when you want to import like uh, some images or some some assets, or it may be required in the development of your app. So for that, first uh, go to the project view in this uh, navigation bar navigation uh, explorer and inside apps just expand uh, uh, source and then in the main uh, just right click new and you'll get an option of new directory click on this and it may come over here otherwise just type assets and it will come up just double click over here and it will create an assets folder and now what you can do is you can probably copy paste this images from control c i've got a couple of images control v click ok it will create a asset over here and now if you want to access these assets in your code what you can do is you can quickly write something like uh, get assets and then open and then you get options like uh, open from file name or whatever and the output of this will be input string so you can use the file name as probably flower.jpg and what you can do is you can create as input stream is the input stream and yeah perfect it's asking whether if I put surrounded with try catch yeah click on that so that it gets surrounded by a try catch okay fine so once we have this input stream what we can do is we can convert it it into a bitmap probably like this bitmap image and then what we can do is we can use something called bitmap factory dot decode from a stream and we can use this input stream over here and once we have this bitmap then we can display this image on an image view so what i'll do is i'll quickly go to my xml i'll also do one thing i'll run this uh, uh, emulator in parallel so that it comes up in the meantime i'll code is done yeah and in this i think uh, i don't need this uh, text with the default one what we get and i'll just use the uh, image view over here so i have drag and drop over here okay so i drag and drop it over here and uh, i'm not sure what happened okay yeah perfect so and just click over here so that we can select it and uh, yeah and I can probably make it a bit bigger and still a bit more bigger and yeah put it somewhere like this and put the constraints perfect I think uh, I'm not sure why it went back to the android part so yeah we are using uh, we have two images here so that's one by one we can use so for the first time we are using is something called flower.jpg now what we can do is we can Create a class variable. So this ID is image view. So what we can do is we can quickly create a class variable for. Uh, okay, I'm not sure what was that. Anyway, let's have this. Find it by ID r dot ID dot image view. Perfect. And then we'll use this image view to set the image by bitmap. And we already have our bitmap. Perfect. So I rerun the code. I, I think those errors will go away once I rerun. And now it's the time to bring the my emulator up at this visible and see what it happens. So yeah, uh, the focus of this uh, session is not about image view or anything of that kind but it was like how you can include create a assets folder and then use that folder to import or include some of your uh, files like images and all and then use that 
using this get assets uh, method to open those things in your uh, code yeah so that's all i hope this is useful to you this uh, this uh, tutorial and if you have any questions or suggestions then please put in the comment section below and if you like this video then please subscribe to my channel thank you and have a nice day bye